Hello everyone, my name is Oliver from Lux Trading and today we're talking about what is a pullback and how can you profit from it. If we would have to define the market by just one word, we would most likely define it as volatile. The market is full of uncertainties, it can skyrocket up in a few minutes, it can crash down. Even though we analyze the markets through fundamental and technical analysis, the markets tend to still surprise us sometimes with the rapid market movements, and one of these movements is called a pullback. So in today's video, I'll explain to you what a pullback is and how can you profit from it. So let's start with the first question. What is a pullback? A pullback is a pause or a temporary reversal. If you're familiar with price charts, you understand that the price never moves just straight up, but it follows a pattern of up and down, up and down. Prices continue to move up and down even during the strongest of trends. And every time the price goes down during an uptrend, we call it a pullback. There can be numerous reasons why a pullback happens. One thing is clear, and that is that market sentiment plays a big role in the occurrence of pullbacks. For example, there can be news that suddenly changes the market sentiment during an uptrend and brings it down for a little bit. Anyhow, no matter why a pullback happens, traders usually see it as a great buying opportunity. The idea of trading pullbacks revolves around waiting for a price to pull back during a trend. A pullback gives the trader an opportunity to enter the trade at a better buying price. It's quite natural that everybody wants to enter a buying trade at the lowest price possible. So when there is a strong uptrend in the market and you can easily predict that the uptrend will continue, you naturally want to buy when the price pulls back. Taking advantage of the pullbacks is a very common trading strategy. It's very much liked between beginners as it is very simple. So here are some steps to take if you're going to be trading pullbacks. Number one is identifying the trend. The first step in the pullback strategy is to identify the trend. It is important that the trend is relevant to your time frame. So if you're trading on the one hour chart, you're looking for trends on the one hour time frame. Step two is classifying the trend. Not all trends are born equal, and we have three distinct categories of trends. And that is a strong trend. A trend is considered strong when the price remains above 20 MA. A healthy trend. A trend is considered healthy when the price remains above 50 MA. And the weak trend is considered when the price remains above 200 MA. You need to classify the trend before entering a trade. It is important because it helps you identify the area of value on the charts where you will enter the trade. Step three is pinpointing the area of value. The area of value is an area on the charts where buying pressure plays a vital role in pushing the prices higher. The area of value is different for each type of a trend. For a strong trend, that value is around 20 MA. The area of value for a healthy trend is 50 MA and the area of value for a weak trend is 200 MA. Step four is defining the entry triggers for your pullback. An entry trigger is a pattern defining for you when to enter the trade during a pullback. Buying on a pullback in a strong trend is always difficult because the pullbacks are very short. So the plan is to buy the breakout of the swing high. Buying on a pullback during a healthy trend is easy because pullbacks during a healthy trends are always healthy. The plan is to look for buying opportunities in the 50 MA area, your area of value. And the plan for a weak trend is to look around the 200 MA. And step five is exiting the trade to protect your gains. When you enter a trade, you act on the anticipation that the trend will continue after a pullback. But what if it doesn't? If the trend never gets on its original course, there are two exit strategies. When your anticipation is right, during a strong trend, hold on to your position to maximize your gains. However, trailing stop using 20 MA is always a prudent strategy. During a healthy trend, you can exit the trade before a swing high. And during a weak trend, you need to exit at the resistance of the previous swing high. And so when your anticipation is wrong and the trend doesn't continue, during a strong trend, you can exit the trade when the price falls below the area of value of 20 MA. During a healthy trend, exit when the price 
breaks below a support level, and during a weak trend, exit the trade when the price falls below the 200 MA. So, to wrap it up, a pullback is a pause or reversal in the price of a security during a trend. Typically, this is seen as a great buying opportunity, and there are various pullback strategies that you can use. Today, we went over some simple steps to take, as trading with a trend is a simple strategy that everyone can follow. Let us know how you trade pullbacks down in the comment section, and if you have any more questions about Lux, feel free to reach out to our 24-7 live chat or send us an email at info at luxtradingfirm.com. I wish you all a successful day trading and have a great one.